Welcome back to Daily Devotions. In 2021, I wanted something simple for us to hold on to each day. In the confusion of life, I wanted hope and I wanted faith to reign in my own life. So I thought, how could I go about making a rhythm that achieves this? What I decided to do was to hold on to a single verse from the Bible, one verse to meditate on and to ask God, how are you speaking to me today through this verse? And I did this many years ago, where each week I would write out um, a verse and I stuck it on a wall. Uh, and I would regularly look at that wall. You can see just some of them. I, I did so many of them. I did them on nice coloured bits of paper and I plastered an entire wall with them by the end of it. Maybe you could write out the verse for the day. You could draw it. You could doodle it. You could paint it if you like doing those things. You could try memorising the verse so that you can say it to yourself, so that you can remember it at times when you most need it. Most of these verses that we'll have are going to be very short, they're going to be memorable, they'll never be sort of longer than something that you can write on a piece of A5 with a sharpie, which I did back in 2010. And I still have these, I still use them and I treasure them, and so I thought it'd be worth us doing it again. Today's verse is from 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. The verse says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And so today, what am I taking? from this verse. Well, I want to remember that I am in Christ. That means that I'm not alone. I'm not just one small person on a great big planet. I am in Christ. Today and in whatever is thrown my way, I am held in the divine nature of God. And secondly, the old has gone, the new has come. 2021 feels like we have pressed the pause button on a remote. And yes, lots of life is on pause. But the new creation, the new creation is not on pause. God at work in our lives is not on pause. God healing us and transforming us into his likeness, this is not on pause. The new creation talks about our heavenly life with God. And today's verse says, that's not on pause. We don't wait until we die. We don't wait until the end of the pandemic. It is now if we receive that into our lives today. And so today I'm thinking about the difference between the pause that I feel in much of my life and the fact that my life with God is not on pause because I am in Christ. This verse and the truth that it holds makes me smile. It makes me smile in the face of my challenge because the challenge cannot rob me of the truth of this verse. Why don't we say the verse together? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 
Let's pray together. Lord God, we give you thanks that today, for the truth of this verse, that you have come to us, that you longed to know us, and today we choose to live that truth in you. We acknowledge that we are a new creation, and though much of life is on pause, we look to see you at work transforming us from the inside. Speak to us today, nurture and transform us for your glory. Amen.